terrorist attack has indeed united Kenyans once again in the face of adversity. It has, however, also brought to the fore the reality that terrorism knows no borders and is a respecter of none. Gladys Gashanja looks at the stories of some of those who never made it and the unity that is shared in the deep pain. In life and in death, a friendship that is said to have run deep to the point that it ran out. Tragically so, Abdallah Dahir and his best friend Faisal Ahmed were reportedly having lunch when the terrorists of 14 Riverside Drive attacked one of the restaurants within the Ducit D2 complex. <laughs> The emotions as they were laid to rest at the Langata Cemetery were tangible and more so a mixture of sorrow, despair and disbelief. Abdallah is said to have been working for an international non-governmental organization and he and Faisal are both survived by their wives. <laughs> These sentiments and tributes by various Kenyans pointed to terror not being a respecter of race or religion. Now, to say I'm a terrorist, a terrorist does not have a religion. Wala hana rangi, hana kabila, hana dini, hana ideology. It is an international phenomenon which we have to confront, confront all together. Kwa hiyo ni nasema ya kwamba, tumeumia wote pa moja, na tafadhalini tushikane pa moja, na tukai pa moja kwa amani, and the sorrow of unimaginable loss is being felt across families and circles. A family, a corporate community and the local football fraternity woke up Wednesday morning to the news that terror had scored a painful goal against them. James Odwar, alias Cobra, was no more. He was one of those who the attack took down and it was not just on any day. Tuesday, 15th January, was the eve of his birthday. I've lost a child I loved. A child who was cheerful, could just make your day, even if you are down. Secondly, I lost a responsible boy who became a good man, a good family man. Had a wife and two children whom he loved. With the passion. First thing I did was to send Odu Cobra. Yeah? I wished him uh, all the best. It's his birthday. Yeah? Um, first, that was 2003 when I signed for Pi uh, Kenya Pipeline. 2003, yeah. 2003, 2004 season. We used to play together in Kenya Pipeline uh, Football Club. Yeah? until it was disbanded uh, so everybody had to go his own way but um, we kept that close contact because he was one of my best friends uh, in that team yeah? you know in a team you'll have friends you'll have teammates but again uh, in that team you love those guys who are close to you so he was one of the closest friends uh. <laughs> The dark mood at the Chiromo funeral parlor sat above the family and friends who are piecing together the reality of the tragic loss, drawing some much-needed strength from fond memories. It had me to be, to be a presenter, fellow presenter, because he was our leader at Wadao TV, he was our mentor, he was everything to us, he was our, our pillar and everything. He was jovial, he was witty, he was intelligent, he was a team leader. And uh, indeed, we've lost somebody very close and very good. Yeah. His employer, LG, whose offices are at 14 Riverside Drive, has eulogized him as a valuable employee who had great impact on those who worked and knew him. He leaves behind his wife and two children. Gladys Gashanja, NTV.